up guys thanks for tuning in for today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe so i know you saw from the first clip of this video that the truck is sitting uh, clearly uh, behind me and it's been sitting here for like the past two weeks and uh, the reason why is because uh, i know you guys know that this truck had the cam and the lifters replaced and uh everything seemed well that night i got it back the second day i did a pour too and then i heard some weird noise like a like a broke something inside i didn't know what it was so i kept driving it like that obviously i didn't step on it anymore because i was scared and uh i know some of uh some of you guys noticed that the truck didn't sound like good and i noticed it too but i didn't want to like i kind of neglected it i was like i can't be like the lifters or the cam like it's they're brand new but uh i was wrong so uh when the installer uh swapped out the cam he forgot to tell me that the uh bearings were were going bad or they oh, they're already bad and uh, i think he kind of just didn't see but he didn't like uh pay attention but i'm gonna show you guys in a bit and how those cam bearings actually looked and the reason why i was getting a low oil pressure that's why i haven't been racing this truck i know like some of y'all been wanting me to race the, the cam and that's not even there i'm gonna show you guys more but uh let's get straight to uh the cam bearings and see how they look all right guys so here are the cam bearings as you can see they're they were pretty bad they're already scraped and everything um yeah, they're, they're pretty damn bad like i never thought that uh the cam and the lifters would fail so damn fast so basically uh the oil here goes through and goes up to the motor and uh in this case they it wasn't worn because they were broken this is how it looks like once they tore down the, the motor and the reason why we figured out it was the cam bearings was because uh the guy that was not working on my truck put the oil pressure uh on the bottom of the oil oil pan not oil pan the oil filter and uh the needle read first at 45 uh, psi at idle which wasn't bad but the needle was moving and he said he didn't like that it's not supposed to be like moving so uh we took it out and uh he told me like just keep driving it and see if the noise goes away but i told him it, it hasn't so uh he was like uh let me see the old cam and i was like yeah sure so this is the cam the first the old cam only cam and uh, i didn't see but the the way you know your cam bearings are messed up is by uh the rollers here this one was fine but look at this one scratched up and honestly i never even paid attention to it when i got it back i mean this was already a problem but the, the cam bearings were broken already and was causing uh oil to like slip out and uh also when the heads were uh put back together they weren't tight enough and um if they started leaking going into the cylinders i'll probably post a picture of it here in a bit but uh we got the whole front end here in the back of my truck looks like it has it's been sitting here for two weeks like i said and i'm gonna take you guys on a little like tour a little show and tell for you guys and open the hood right here no motor as y'all can see we got a little gator here but like i'm just you know kind of devastated I'm, i was pissed because like dude like i invested so much money into the 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 build and uh didn't even last me a damn week <laughs> so but uh anyways the headers here are the i don't know if you guys remember the cheap ebay headers these are it so they've been having them for like i don't know a year no cracks nothing uh they are a little bit tight like on the the frame as y'all can see i don't know if you can see that they are a little tight and they're 200 dollar headers don't expect it to like be like a like a like a good fit but they they'll fit they took the the first guy who did them took in like i don't know an hour and 30 minutes he's pretty fast uh I recommend using uh, Renflex gaskets. I think I'll be going with the, either that or just the OEMs that comes with the new gasket uh, kit that I'm gonna have to buy again. But uh, the headers are pretty good, guys. So if you guys still have 
like um they're obviously a little wobbly because there's nothing there's no bolts uh but yeah i still recommend getting these they're they're pretty good for the price uh like i said you're paying for headers the more you pay the easier the install but these weren't really a hassle you know just take the, the wheel off and the little fender plastic thing and you can work on it faster there <clears throat> but anyways uh no as y'all guys can see this was the cam i installed like i don't know a month ago brand new cam guys with the lifters and uh this happened where's the right here so lift the roller broke because no oil was going up and it started eating the cam again this time faster because there's no roller now and um basically this whole cam is toast i mean i could take it and get um polish or something but i don't want to go through all that it's never really the same but i was pretty pissed because that cam was like five bills the lifters were like almost three they're from the same company i asked them if they could help me out they're like no can't help you no refunds so i got another set of lifters to go with the uh, the uh the new cam setup that i'm going with i'm not going to be going with ams anymore sucks because i never got to even race the new cam i was pissed but i'm going with a different cam i'll talk to you guys about that on the next video uh once we start putting the motor back in um the guy's gonna come tomorrow and uh tell me about the prices and everything because i had to get the heads done again and uh basically we're about basically a whole rebuild is needed now because of all that but you know it is what it is and uh, i want you guys to see the lifters i forgot to, i forgot to show y'all but this is a lifter right here literally broke off because no oil was going through i feel like they're good lifter like the lifters but due to the fact that uh they were getting the oil was bad so i got like uh four four of them four brand new ones and replacing the other ones were fine we're not gonna replace all of them uh these are the non-mds lifters uh not sure if they're like uh they say they're the hellcat lifters i'm not exactly sure uh but as long as they're oem they're gonna be hellcat lifters the, they're all the same guys so just make sure that you get the non-mds um if you're gonna planning on doing a cam and check your bearings because <laughs> uh, that's the reason that you might get low oil pressure on the truck uh, not because you know the filter but because your cam bearings are going out something i wish i'd known but anyways guys that's just a little update on the truck it's been sitting here like i said for about two weeks uh wanted to keep you guys updated and informed of what exactly happened to the truck uh but like i said the motor's being built and i'm i'm ordering the cam today or tomorrow i still haven't made a decision there's just a lot of options i kind of want to stick with the uh the best one in terms of stock converter i don't want to upgrade the converter i think the 545 doesn't require unless you like doing a turbo setup or a, a whipple um it holds really good uh it's a stock converter guys as y'all can see i don't have no, no nothing done to the transmission besides uh maintenance i uh, fixed the o-ring on it in the front because it's leaking and uh, the gaskets as well uh but these transmissions hold dude because i've been racing this thing for like damn three years <laughs> just more uh rolls than, than digs and i'm a dig kind of guy i don't like doing rolls just i think this truck does look really good on digs but uh i'm gonna stick with you know like a stage one either a tsp or a hrt stage one or a btr uh cam not sure which ones i'm gonna go with but when i do i'm gonna give you guys a review on it and uh hope you guys choose because there's still a lot of people out there that are gonna get cam and i want to help you guys out but yeah anyways uh thanks for uh watching the video help help us get to 1k subs and i will be doing a giveaway also shout out to all my boys at arco mauricio my boy nino and know who you guys are you thanks for watching my videos and i'll see you guys in the next one peace Oh, <laughs>